The woman who is accusing three Toronto police officers of sexually assaulting her in a hotel room after a boozy night of partying finished testifying here today after being challenged by two more defense lawyers. They called her memory into question and say she was actually a willing participant. She just doesn't remember it. This was her third and final day of grueling cross-examination. The defense lawyers trying to plant seeds of doubt in the parking enforcement officer's allegation that she was sexually assaulted in a hotel room by Leslie Nisnik, Samir Kara and Josh Cabero, all officers at 51 Division. Each lawyer tried to portray his client in an innocent light by presenting an alternate version to hers. Last week, Nisnik's lawyer claimed she was the instigator, that she initiated having oral sex with the officer, that she wanted it. Today, Samir Kara's lawyer pointed out that Kara asked permission for all the things he did sexually that night, including if he could ejaculate in her. The woman responded, he's asking, I'm just unable to answer. Kara's lawyer questioned the accuracy of her memory, getting her to admit she had no recollection of arriving at the hotel in a cab shown on this video, suggesting Kara did not say, stop Josh, she's out in the room, but get out. Is it not possible in the hotel you voluntarily took part in acts you do not remember, he said. Why isn't it a reasonable possibility you're not a victim of a crime, but a victim of alcohol diminishing your inhibitions? She responded, I did not consent to what happened in that hotel room. Josh Cabero's lawyer also suggested her memory was unreliable, pointing out she had told police she walked to the brass rail with a group, but video shows she arrived in a cab, suggesting if she was wrong about that, she was wrong about so much more. What's your explanation? How can you be so wrong, he asked. She answered, the only explanation I can give is I was so intoxicated. Cabero's lawyer also tried to raise doubt his client was involved in a sexual act. He got the complainant to acknowledge she surmised it was Cabero penetrating her from behind because Nisnik was penetrating her mouth and Kara was asleep on the bed. Throughout it all, the woman stayed calm, consistently denying the defense's alternate version, refusing to back down from her allegation she was raped by the three officers that night. Now, after the victim or the complainant finished her testimony, a police officer took the stand. He was part of the group that was out partying that night and said that he observed the complainant drunk. He also mentioned that he did not hear any talk about sex at the brass rail. That was the last bar the group was in before they splintered off and the complainant went to the hotel with two of the officers.